Hey everybody, welcome back to Observer. I've backtracked slightly here, back to the, the scene where we saw uh, this person hanging. We saw the note that he wrote his daughter, I believe it was. And uh, I didn't scan it in the moment, because I was like overwhelmed with this was like a pretty heavy scene. So uh, I'm going to scan it now just to see if there's anything that's going on. It might be something, it might not be. It is, in fact, not be. It's a human body. No life functions detected. Okay. Uh, that said, something really interesting came up in the comments. Um, so, Yanis, the janitor down here, he's actually named after a Roman uh, god in Roman mythology. And this god is responsible for uh, gates and doors and passages and things like that. The other really interesting point is that uh, he's usually depicted as having two faces since he looks to the future and the past and there's some uh, there's some control over time and duality and things like that. So really, really cool. Um, totally fitting for this this janitor that's been crafted here and oh like not to geek out too hard, but I'm really into this. There's gonna be a lot of stuff like that that probably goes over my head, but um, hopefully, hopefully we catch some of it. And if I don't, then, uh, you guys can help me. Okay, so the main thing we need to do right now is we actually need to go to the first floor. Uh, we have a couple of apartments to check out that, with people that have, um, the initials HN. So Hannah Nader and Helena Nowak. So apartment 104 and apartment 106. And the reason we're doing that is because they were in contact with our son, we think. Okay, so this is now open. This is now open. Let's back out to the courtyard. So let's head up to the first floor, I would say. And so far- oh, jeez. <laughs> um... I have to. Do I? Do I have to? Beef. Beef. What is that? Where's this music coming from? Okay. We totally don't need to be in this basement right now. I'll tell you that much. All right, we'll come. We'll come back to this. It's really weird where you hear that music coming from. Curfew applies. Whoa. Is that us, or is that the sign? Experiencing that. Okay, first floor. Let's get our bearings here. We need 104 and 106, so... Uh, from where we are, we could go directly through this door. 105 to 110, 111 to 114, or... 105 to 110 again. Interesting. Uh, it looks like we would need to go through the door to the left and we could take a circle all the way around to 104. I think we'll start in 104 and then we'll go to 106. Uh oh. Never mind. Hard work and patience is all it takes to achieve a civic status upgrade. So if we go straight. We'll have to do a bigger loop around, but we can still make it. Dan Lazarski, KPD. Routine questioning. Daddy, who is it? Oh. Can he make the door open? When can we go out, Daddy? Go to your room, kids. Go play Runaway Galaxy. Let me talk to the man. Hello, officer. This I'm guy Thaddeus sounds Karski, sketch. Head of the family. 
How can I help you? Listen, have you seen anything questionable going on around here? Apart from the usual, you mean? The usual? Well, you know, this place isn't exactly a beacon of morality. Still, we mustn't judge. Most people mean well. They're just misguided. This guy is surprisingly more relaxed than Everything the others. Everything all right in there? Did the lockdown spook the kids? Oh, no, we're fine. I do appreciate your concern, though. You sound very calm. Yeah, exactly. You're worried about a potential outbreak? Oh, that doesn't concern us, officer. Of course, I hope that's not the case, for the sake of the other tenants. What do you mean, it doesn't concern you? We're all clean of corruption. My wife, myself, and the little ones. Clean of... oh. You're immaculates. Immaculates? Children of the immaculate birth, yes. You've heard of us. All good things, I hope. Uh, we've obviously heard of you, yes, but I don't know much about it. Well, I've never been called to a crime scene where one of your kind was involved. That's good enough for me. Our kind? I see. Do you take offense to our way of life, Officer Lazarski? No, but it must be hard on the whole family. No one said life would be easy. Well, I'd have to say... No mods of any kind. That's oh, so they're like pure. Is it really? Is having a neural connection to the web worth renouncing your humanity? Is a body held together with screws and wires really worth a corrupted soul? Some would say there are benefits. Certainly. I know our lives will be shorter and less comfortable. But it's a price we're willing to pay for experiencing the purity of our God-given bodies. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a big fan of implants, but I couldn't do what I do without them. Yes, you carry them within you. It wasn't really a choice, you know? Oh, but clearly it was. The world would be a better place if more people realized that. I didn't expect to have, like, this deep conversation with some stranger on the opposite side of the door. I'm not gonna insult the guy. Let's just be agreeable. Yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe we are what we make ourselves. I agree with this. I don't wish to speak out of turn, but our church has a support group for <laughs> the penitent unclean. Of course. Perhaps you'd like to attend a meeting? The recruitment speech. Sounds like a hoot and a half. Thanks for inviting me. Yes, well, once you get past the name, you'll find a lot of compassion and understanding there. All right, if you say so, Mr. Karski. Godspeed, Officer Lazarski. Nice chatting with you, I suppose. Part of me was thinking, well, maybe we'll just go straight to 104, 106, but we learn a lot from these random tenants. What is that banging sound? It's like a thud. Look at this. Oh, there might be something in here. Hello. What is that? I can't grab it. It's like some type of... Oh. There we go. Because you're scared of me? Hello, young man. I'm Dr. Lance. Do you know why you're here? You look like a big marshmallow. Ah, yes, the suit. I'm afraid it's necessary. Do you know why? Because you're scared of me. Okay, here we go. Just a radio. Unregistered pre-war components detected. Cool, that was pretty well hidden. He's interviewing a child, and the child says, because you're scared of me. Oh 
boy. Whoa! Whoa, okay, okay. Okay. What the hell? Yeah, we're good. Oh, what? What the hell is happening? I hope that's a little robot. Yep, okay. Uh, thanks. I guess. Service drone, operating system outdated, model no longer supported. SMD-102. Okay, that had me a little bit concerned. I'll be honest. Here, no, no comm system. All these little sensors, like, what the f <gasps> like, what is that that we hear? What is that? Hello, anyone in there? 107. Yes. I'm with the KPD. Oh. Need to ask I'm, you I'm very questions. concerned right now. Oh, and who's your friend? What? Friend? Oh, f It's just me, ma'am. Oh, I have to go now. No! Already. Oh, God. Who's your friend? So she's seeing things, or is she? Here's 106. Miss Nader, I'm with the KPD. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Mrs. Sorry? Excuse me? Mrs. Nader. All right. Uh, Mrs. Nader. What do you want? Um. Yeah, let's see if we can calm her a bit. Ma'am, is everything all right in there? Are you in some kind of danger? You tell me, officer. I heard the alarms go off. Are the cleaners on their way? Are any of us safe? The lockdown seems to be a malfunction. I don't think we're looking at an outbreak here. Well, I'm sure the other tenants will be glad to hear that. But not you? No, officer. Not me. Have you made any calls in the last hour? No, I have not. Could you check your compass for connections? Somebody may have used it as a proxy. I don't have a compass. Oh, well that settles that then. If you don't mind my asking, do you live alone? Yes, I do mind, and yes, I live alone. No spouse or daughter? Didn't you hear me? I said it was just me. Yeah, but she also emphasized... Then why did you insist on being yes. missing? I'm a widow. Okay. My wife died many years ago. Oh. In the plague. Gotcha. Sorry to hear that. Is that why you don't have any implants? Yes. Want to see the scar tissue on my face and neck? It's quite an embroidery. The little monsters really outdid themselves. Or do I have to show you what's left of my arm? Would that satisfy your curiosity? Mrs. Nader, I'm just doing my job. We are prying pretty yes, hard. I've heard that one before. When the cleaners took my Laura away. 
One of them turned to me and said precisely that. <laughs> I never saw her again. Not even the body. It's like she never existed. Get off your own. This seems to be a, a reoccurring trend here. I'm not like that. No? Oh, so you don't work for the corporation? The very same people who took everything I ever had? Just because they pay me doesn't mean they owe me. Yeah, maybe it does, well, though. isn't that a pretty thought? You best get on with your duties, officer. I'm sure you have your hands full. So long, Mrs. Nader. Helena Novak, it is. So, um, you know, she talks about, or we talk about the company not owning us. They pay us, but they don't own us. Um, one interesting thing that came up was when we're doing these scans and we get those little messages saying, like, ignored. Um, can we really trust those? Because this is all filtered through, like, the company network, you would think. KPD? Anyone in there? Oh, yeah. Can you repeat that? The cops butted. What do you want? You noticed anything suspicious recently? Anything out of the ordinary? What? I don't know. Okay. I didn't quite catch that. <laughs> We're so patient. Fine. You've been very helpful. <laughs> Good night. Oh, God. Okay, before we head that way, I just want to see... Oh, this was the other side of the, uh... The gate that we found earlier, where the where the robot was, nothing that is observed is unaffected by the observer. Look at that! What's this? Joanna Madura, unemployed, ready for disposal. So this is okay. So are these? Shots for like the cleaners that come Because we always seem to grab we always seem to take these photos when we find them. I'm not sure why yet, but there's got to be a reason And I wonder if that's marking the, the or given to the cleaners to Give them direction on who to get Oh, yeah Okay, so that's back in, probably to the section we need to be at. I just want to see... Oh, shit! What the f... What was that? What was that? Whoa! Oh. Oh. That just sent shivers down my entire body. Oh, yeah. So we can't- we can't scan these. I keep trying, but... Uh, Damien Milas, ready for disposal. Femcom service technician. Okay. What do they mean? And what was that noise that we heard? Better yet. 101 to 104. Okay, so here we go. This is this little section now. Bathroom. And these photos, like, th they're seemingly everywhere. Yeah, ready for disposal. And a word Ziba, or words Bita. I would love to hear the correct pronunciations of these names. See, like, those symbols coming up as ignored? Like, obviously they're probably not that important, but... Hey! You! I can hear you out there! Help me, please! What's going on? What's wrong, sir? Oh, 
I heard this awful noise. Yeah. What's going on? We heard that too. There's been a lockdown. A lockdown? No. Oh God, please, not today. Well, what's so special about today? I was scheduled to undergo a, a medical procedure. It's a private matter. I'd, I'd, I'd rather not talk about it. Yet you brought it up. Suit yourself. Are you okay? It sounds like you're in pain. Well, it's fine. I'm just... I got a, a condition. I'm, I'm waiting to have it fixed. Anything I can do? <laughs> sure. If you're an expert in corrective surgery. <laughs> Sir, I'm wondering if you've seen anything suspicious lately. I haven't seen anything in over 40 years. Oh, he's blind. Uh, that's your condition. Gotcha. I, I... I really don't feel comfortable talking about it. Fine, I won't waste your time then. Hey, wait. I did hear something. Quiet footsteps, deliberate, You're... heavy mm. breathing, angry, not hiding, hunting. That's exactly what I needed mm. to hear. Anything Thanks. else? This smell. It seemed uh, oddly familiar. Reminded me of my childhood. Your childhood? The smell? Yes. My family lived outside the city with all manner of creatures. When it would rain, the smell would be similar. Hmm. What the hell? Okay, so we've got 102, 103, 104 down there with the door open. Of course. Hey, PD. Everybody's I home in this area. Some questions. Certainly, officer. Always glad to do my civic duty. Of course you are. <laughs> Seen or heard anything suspicious lately? Neighbors acting weird? Actually, I did hear some noises coming from 104. Then the woman stormed out of the apartment and ran off. So I wonder if that guy heard the noises of the person, maybe... If there was an altercation in 104, he heard the person approaching, and then this guy heard, heard the woman running away. But you would think that the other guy would have heard that too, so... Unless he was confused and he also heard the woman running away? What kind of noises, sir? Screaming, breaking stuff, I... I didn't think much of it, I mean... Those two are always at each other's oh, throats. Oh, so this is... normal. You seem pretty laid back. You do know the building is under lockdown. Well, yes, but... There's not much I can do about it, is there? I mean... I'm sure the authorities are handling the situation as we speak. Come to think of it, isn't that why you're here? No, actually. Well, you, you might be giving the authorities too much credit. Officer, please! It's highly demoralizing to hear that kind of talk from a man of the law. Oh, man. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? You mean these people get violent with each other? Well, I'm not sure about violence. Mostly just arguing, I guess. Today was worse than usual. That's probably why she ran out. Did you see where she went? Well, no, I didn't actually see her. I could smell her, you see. Oh. Smell her? Don't tell me you can't. That cheap crap she pours over herself, the entire hallway reeks of it. She probably thinks it makes her seem ladylike. I see. I got it. I wonder Thanks if that's the same smell then. I hear panting too, moaning like the whore she is. Whoa! Did, huh? Yeah, biggest fucking cock tease you've ever seen. Always toying with me, bending over when reaching for the lock, all naked underneath her clothes. She knows I'm watching too. She all naked to under her clothes. Cooped up with that junkie meathead. I mean, what does he have that I don't? They're all like that, you know? Fucking mongoloid bitch. Now I hope she gets what she fucking <laughs> deserves, so that she knows what? she's fucked up. She'll have no choice but to come to me, begging. But it'll be too late, you hear me? Too late! Jeez, somebody's triggered. Okay, I guess the picture. Thanks for your... input. Oh, uh, I... 
that. Yes, certainly, officer. Wow. KPD, I'd like to have a word. It's about time you showed up. What the hell is going on? Why are we under lockdown? Most likely Sounds like us. Function, I'm still looking into it. Well, you ain't looking in the right places. Because I don't know nothing. That's what people say when they know things. Suspicious or unusual. Other than the lockdown, I mean. Well, a couple from 104 were making an awful lot of noise a while back. More than usual, I mean. The girl ran off. And then it got quiet. Did you see where she ran off to? I ain't one to snoo. But judging by the footsteps, I'd say she ran down to the courtyard. I wonder if that's what we heard when Anything we were out else there. You can tell me about them. What? The couple? Don't know them that well. The girl seems nice enough. Not sure about the guy, though. What about the girl? Oh, she she's a trooper. Works double shifts at Chiron to okay. support that ex-con asshole of a so She husband. works at the same company we work for. Any idea what she might be doing for them? Can't be too important or she wouldn't be living in this shithole. Explains the look on her face, though. What do you mean by that? Worn out, fidgety, jumping in shadows. Working for the corporation has that effect. I guess. And what about the man? What can you tell me about the guy? Amir? I think he's called. Okay, his name's Amir. He looks tough, but he's got the yellow eye, you know? Twitches like a junkie. Probably sells the shit, too. How do you know that? What, the dealer? I see him sneak around during the night, carrying packages and stuff. I dealt he's the goddamn postman. We found the hallway, Snitch. Does this kind of stuff happen often? You ever see a husband get violent? Nah, nah, he ain't a wife beater or anything like that. He's just... messed up. And again, ain't we all? Anything else out of the ordinary? Anything at all? Well, other than some asshole bringing animals into the building? I'd say that's animals. pretty much it. Animals? Yeah, I could, uh, I could swear I heard something growling in the oh, hallway earlier. Oh, shit. I informed the janitor, but, eh, he'd lose the plot midway through the talk anyway. Thanks. You've been very helpful. So all three of these guys... <laughs> That's new. All three of these guys have similar stories. He talked about... Like the growling, the hunting, and the smell. He talked about the smell and the running. He talked about the running and the smell, or in the, in the growling, so. I'm braced. I'm super braced here. Anyone here? Oh! What do we got here? Identity card, Helena Novak. Or Novak, junior programmer. Clearance level F. Chiron Corporation ID. Low level oh, clearance, look at her. but still valid. Clearance level F. Uh, do we show our clearance level? No. Whoa, whoa, what the? Jesus. See, look, we're getting a little bit of that glitchy situation happening. He's still alive. What happened Don't to you? Don't be afraid. I'm here to help. This must be Amir, I'm guessing. Oh boy. Listen to me. The building's on lockdown. There's no way I can help you now. But I can get whoever's responsible for this if you help me find him. 
Oh no. Don't try to talk. There's another way. Oh, I'm going in. Oh, what? Analyze the neural implant. <laughs> I just want to check this first. All right. Okay, this is in class C, gender A1, assault, robbery, drug possession, sentence served, status critical, Amir Nowak. Subject approved. Commencing neural interrogation. Woohoo! Whoa. Oh, what? Whoa. Okay, so we're like totally locked. Look at this. We're totally locked in here. <laughs> 